There are calls to ban certain Chinese online retailers as experts combat the so-called fast fashion industry. Australians are among the world's worst for buying clothes and throwing them away after just a few uses. The environmental damage is significant, but there are simple suggested solutions. Picking apart popular pieces, these experts are highlighting a possible profitable fix for the scourge of fast fashion. This is a great example of a dress that could be widely shared by many, many women. A new research project is looking at the impact of online clothes lending, renting out high quality garments to cut the amount of clothes produced and make owners extra cash. What we see is, you know, especially our super lenders, they're seeing fashion as an investment rather than, I suppose, a you know, a hole in the wallet. I see a rental being a, a much part, larger part of the fashion landscape moving forward. Experts say we must change our clothing habits to save the planet. More Australians are buying cheap, less durable clothes, often from overseas online retailers. The average Aussie buys around 56 items of clothing each year. It's estimated we throw away a third of the clothes we buy within the same year we buy them. Around 200,000 tonnes of clothing is sent to landfills annually. So it doesn't surprise me just because I know a lot of people do do that. We have a very big fast fashion industry. Fast fashion accounts for around 10% of global carbon emissions and encourages slave labour. We literally need to be buying less, but that doesn't have to mean less access to variety, less access to joy, less, less access to happiness, all of which are things that fashion brings to people. Uni student Talia has been buying less lately. She thinks others would too if better labelling was enforced. The emissions, like the carbon emissions from um, online like fast fashion stores and you see how bad and how damaging that is, then people are likely to do something about it. Not-for-profit Seamless aims to cut waste in the fashion industry by 60% by 2027. From July, several large brands will contribute four cents per garment sold, with the money to go to various waste reduction programs. There is no systematic collection of unwearable clothing in Australia. So there is limited reprocessing infrastructure and very little textile to textile recycling. There are also calls for Australia to follow France's lead and block Chinese retailers responsible for much of the cheap, low-quality, throwaway clothes. I would really like to see those big Chinese fast fashion businesses unable to ship product into Australia. I think it's destructive. I think it teaches young consumers that fashion is cheap and disposable. Bold steps may be needed to address a troubling fashion trend. Rento Halloran, Sky News.